While I love living where I do, sometimes being in the country and working alone can be a bit isolating. Add to that this odd YouTube life I've created for myself and it can feel like you're on an island. No one to talk to that really gets it. No one to talk shop with face to face. Enter Lynn. Lynn has run a successful channel, Darwin Orver, for some time now, has the same maker mentality, and just so happens to have driven all the way across the country to buy a home just an hour away from me. She asked if she and her family could come visit my shop. I, of course, said yes. She wanted to introduce me to leatherworking. Specifically, we were going to focus on tool belts. I gotta say, it was so nice having someone else in the shop while also learning to work a new material. <laughs> After she rolled out some different leathers, I was intrigued at how minimal the tools were. Something to cut the leather, be it a sharp utility knife or something more specialized, something to punch holes with, and some hardware. Oh, this is called a skiver. It helps thin out leather if you want to make a fold or something. Lynn showed me how to attach belt hardware first by skiving the leather, punching a hole with this leather hole punch for the pin of the buckle, I guess you'd call it. then fastening with rivets. Once we had our strips of leather for the belt part and our buckles attached, we went about making our tool holders. To hold the tool holders onto the belts, we thought slitting the leather would be the quickest method since I was a novice. I wanted to make some small woodworking tool holders like a sheath for my marking knife, and as a beginner I was really drawn to how easy the rivets were. Since Lynn would be doing some remodeling on her new house, she wanted more general use pockets and a hammer loop. For the hammer loop, she demonstrated how to saddle stitch using a leather stitching punch. Admittedly, we were running out of time in the day, so I didn't get to experiment with the stitching, but it's definitely something I'm going to try. And honestly, I was just enjoying having some other like-minded people in the shop. It's just fun to watch other people work sometimes. Along with my marking knife, I wanted a small engineer's square to go with it, as well as a marking gauge. Things I often reach for when I'm laying out joinery. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use this particular setup on the belt, maybe for a prolonged joinery layout, but it was an awesome introduction into a new craft. That, and I got to hang out with some people that I've virtually known for a long time now. It was so cool to break up that virtual isolation with real world interaction. I got to work in new medium and my proof of concept works. The belt with this configuration holds things well and I can access them efficiently. But knowing I can build anything to fit this belt is a really cool idea. All right guys, so thank you so much for sticking around. I know this was a little bit different than the normal woodworking stuff that you are used to on my channel, but this was really, really a lot of fun working with different mediums and- And it relates to woodworking because it's somewhere to put your woodworking tools. That's right. I think it's really cool how custom you can make everything and it's kind of a quiet, more meditative, uh, less dusty, craft. Thank yes. you, Lynn, so much for coming into my shop and showing me this stuff, and I hope to do some more stuff with you soon. Uh-huh. And, uh... Maybe I'm, in my shop next time. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing your mm -hmm. shop a lot, so. I'm looking forward to seeing it, too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, until next time, guys, if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe. Click like if you like what I'm doing. Let me know in the comments section. Be sure 
to subscribe to Lynn's channel, Darwin Orver. I will link it in the description because that stuff is just really, really awesome. Uh, until next time, guys, I'm Will Walker. This is Lynn. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Oh, good. You're still here. So what better way to welcome Lynn and Matt and the Darwin Orver channel to Virginia than to have a meetup in Central Virginia? If you are anywhere near the area, we will be at the Hardywood Brewing Company this coming Saturday, August 4th at 2.30 p.m. Uh, it's just a great time to meet other makers, other like-minded people, gather, drink a beer or a soda if that's what you're into, but Lynn and her family and I will be there to chat with other people for you to join this community. So if you want, come check it out. 2.30 p.m. Hardywood Brewing Company, the West Creek Tap Room. It's the one right off of 288 just outside of Richmond. 2.30 p.m. Be there or be square. I'll see you guys there. All right.